Okay, here we are in the summer turn, 1940, in the game Second World War by 3W, published in 1991. I think I've said 1994 before, but uh, the correct date is 1991. Uh, let's see, the plans for the Axis in the summer. Um, first of all, we're going to try and conquer France and try and take out the remaining French uh, defensive units. Uh, let's see, the second thing is we're going to try and finish our capture of Norway. Up here we're going to use the paratroopers on Oslo. Uh, the next thing we're going to try and do is Italy, which enters the war this turn, is going to try and take out the French Navy and open up uh, supply lines to Libya and if we can I'm not quite sure we may send an air unit down there to interfere with any British attempts to take the supply uh, supply center here at Tripoli um, haven't quite decided on that yet the uh, let's see the Allies theirs are pretty much contingent upon the Axis player a couple things I'd like to do is Depending upon uh, France's status, come the Allied turn, I will probably send the BEF, which is under this 410 unit, uh, over to France and move the Scapa Flow unit um, down here, here or here, somewhere there to block the Axis uh, fleet from doing a quick strike on the UK. I might even just blockade the fleet over here, even here, because it could catch this, but they could go that way, but if it's here, they put a zone of control into all those hexes except across the land hexes. So I'm going to kind of see on the Scapa Flow uh, fleet. We may um, blockade Libya and put it out of supply, depending uh, upon how things go on the western front. And uh, let's see, we may use the, uh, <clears throat> uh, what is it, Western Desert Force to move into Libya in an attempt to move over towards Tripoli. This, uh, a lot of that is contingent upon what happens, like I said, <clears throat> with France. France pretty much holds the key this turn. Uh, the Axis player gets not only Italy as an ally, they also get a 210 um, air unit with a very wide, uh, very long range. It's four hexes. And then they get an, uh, an armor core. Um, armor army, I guess. So we'll have to decide uh, what we want to eventually do with it. But anyway, that's the plans for the Axis and. Um, what am I trying to say about the Allies? Potential Allied response. But we'll kind of have to wait and see. Okay, this will be the summer Axis post-movement um, segment. I went ahead and took a Spanish unit from Spain, moved them across the mountains. They're going to coordinate an attack on the French unit down here in Marseille, along with the Allied uh, Allied infantry force here. Uh, we're looking at maybe uh, we're looking at a two to one. Down here, I'm going to I moved the Italian uh, air fleet, and it's basically with its two hex range. We're going to go ahead and try and take out this French fleet with the Italian fleet just to free up that hex for future operations. If France falls this turn, the fleet will disappear anyway. So. I guess it's just Italy trying to uh, flex her muscles and try to open up uh, the Mediterranean a little bit. Down here, I moved uh, this infantry army from Tripoli to here. I'm going to try and make it up to the border next turn and we'll see what the uh, British uh, Western Desert Force will do. Other than that, we're preparing for another attack on, well, another attack on France. Um, 
pretty much stack these two hexes the best I could. I'm going to provide some air support. And I moved the German Kriegsmarine from Hamburg to the Danzig Corridor. Danzig, I guess you would call it. To try to prevent anything from Berlin coming around through Denmark and stuff. I could have left them at Hamburg. Eh, I guess that's probably still the better idea. We'll leave them at Hamburg because that zone of control will uh, cover anything trying to come through uh, the Denmark Straits. Um, other than that, uh, we did take or we are taking Norway with the paratroopers a little bit behind the timeline. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and resolve combat and see where we're at. Okay, this is a uh, Battle of France. Thought I'd uh, check back in. Because this is a hmm, pretty critical point in time for the uh, entire Western campaign. France is, uh, Paris is here. She has two infantry and one air unit defending for a total of eight defensive points. <clears throat> there is no benefit for the cities and stuff in combat. We're uh, attacking with uh, infantry. Armor, air here, and infantry, armor, air here, plus this air unit here. The air unit can reach Paris. These guys were like here and here. So, <clears throat> the calculations that I have is it's a three to one attack. Um, anything but a one will gain us the hex. So, that's the way I have it figured. So, if I roll a one, the campaign continues into winter. <clears throat> no, um, fall. Sorry. Okay. Let's get up here. See if we can watch the die roll of die roll of fate here. You know I'm gonna roll a one, so there's probably not much here to uh you know watch. Aha! Well maybe I didn't. That's one of the better die rolls you can have. Um on the three to one column, a five is a defender retreat. Well I think France will fall. Since the capital fell. So, Defender Retreat. <clears throat> These units can pretty much either fall back here or here. I don't think it's going to matter, but we'll just kind of fall back there. And we'll just move the air unit <clears throat> back here. So, they had to retreat. Um, let me check on advance after combat. Advance after combat. Defender sex is vacated as a result of combat, whether by elimination or retreat. Any attacking infantry, armor, or paratroop units may advance into the vacated hex. Armored units may then advance into a second hex. Regardless of ZOC and all that. So, I think we'll advance with this infantry unit and this other infantry unit. Yeah. Just put him back where he belonged. Put the air unit back where it belonged. We'll reposition this unit. And uh, yeah, I'll straighten all this up later. So, let me double check surrender rules. Don't want to make some kind of horrible thing here. If an enemy unit or units occupies a country's capital, the country surrenders during the owning players immediately following supply phase. So it does have a chance to take it back. All its units uh, supply phase comes at the end so we have an allied uh, chance to take it back. All its units are removed from the map and from the turn record track. All hexes and cities controlled by the country at the moment it surrenders become controlled by the occupying player. So, the Allies have one turn to um, take it back. And I guess we will return um, probably after the Allied movement phase of summer 1940. I do want to mention on the uh, previous turn, the Axis summer turn, the Italians, not the Italians, but the French fleet was here. I just now moved the uh, British unit here. 
Anyway, there was an air unit in the Italian fleet versus the French fleet, and, and it was kind of a reversal for the Allies, or for the Axis, sorry, as they lost a 3-4 or 3-10 air unit. And Spain, on the other side over here, took one of her units. Let's see, one, two, three, four, or something. Um, yeah, over to Marseille, so one, two, three, four, because Marseille is right there. There was a French unit there, and then the, the Italian, unit was, Italian unit was over in the mountains. Anyway, what it came down to was an exchange. The French unit died, and so did one of the Spanish units, and they cannot be replaced. So it was not a good uh, it was not a good uh, turn for anybody but the Germans when they captured Paris. However, this is now the scene of uh, the attempted reconquest of Paris before the end of the turn. Basically, the calculated the odds to be let's see 4 8 9 10 11 12 13 14. 14 basically to 10 so we're gonna look at about a one-to-one -one. the one-to-one -one column um, gives us a die roll of one or two is an a1 then we have two no effects and then we have a five which is a defender retreat and a six a defender lose one unit since there's two units in Paris I can afford to lose the one unit however a defender retreat ie a die roll of five will um, force the Germans back into the Ardennes and allow Paris to be recaptured. I did move the British uh, BEF down here by the way and I left their naval unit here in London to project a zone of control <clears throat> and of course the um, bomber unit, air unit there is going to participate in the hopeful reconquest of France. So <clears throat> since that's a big, uh, a big deal we're going to go ahead and resolve it first. And it's going to be, excuse me, a one to one, anything but a five. So here we go. And we roll a four, and a four is a no effect, I believe. Or yeah, I think it's an exchange. Nope, it's no effect, sorry. So <clears throat> Germany will retain control of France, barely. Um, France put up a pretty good resistance overall. And I have one more attack here. I am going to, well, I think I'll just blockade. I'm just going to blockade the Italian fleet eh, here from, uh, we took this fleet from Gibraltar. And we're going to try and blockade uh, that fleet so it can't uh, break out, get over towards Rome, uh, and pick up a unit, or over towards Marseille and pick up a unit. I think with the fall of France, all units have to return to uh, a friendly country within range. Well, let's see here. Let's get it from the horse's mouth. Comes control by the occupying player. That surrender. Invasion. Okay. Well, anyway, it's somewhere. They have to go back home. And I think you can keep track, keep control of their. I think you can keep control of their capital and their country and all that type of stuff. But I'll have to double check that. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up the summer 1940 turn, and it looks like we will be moving into. Well, let's see. No, that's the. Um, excuse me. That is the summer. We'll be moving into fall next. Germany will get um, four eight, two of them. Looks like armor, maybe. The UK will finally get a two ten, and France will get zero. So, anyway, do some adjustments, and when I come back, it will be like I say, the fall of 1940. Later.